Whether you're trying to broaden your experience or score extra cash, we've got three tips to help you balance your freelance gig with your 9 to 5, coming up next. Hi everyone, for a student or recent grad, managing a side hustle with a full-time job can be as exhausting as it is rewarding. Whether you're taking on a side gig to broaden your experience or just make some extra cash, the jobpostings.ca team put together three tips for finding success when balancing freelance work, a full-time career, and the life that falls somewhere in between. First off, the most common mistake new freelancers make is taking on way more than they can physically or mentally handle. Before you go off to find a side gig, evaluate your workload with your current employer. Do you already take work home? Are you on email standby at all hours of the day? Also consider the fact that a side job would mean less time for your family, friends, and hobbies. If you're a student or recent grad with a ton of extracurriculars, step back and figure out whether you're ready to make sacrifices develop discipline, and use every minute of the day in order to make this side hustle work. Next, when you already have a full-time job, the extra work you do take should ideally be meaningful to you. So figure out something you'd like to do, but also take into account that freelance work means that you'll mostly be working alone, so you should consider fields that you excel in as well as enjoy. That said, if a freelance job is more of a need than a want, like the extra money you make would be used to pay down bills or pay rent, for example, then it can be difficult to hold out for work that you're passionate about. In this case, aim for something that you're good at and that won't drain too much of your energy. And finally, if you're taking on a side gig, then you'll probably be working more than a 40-hour work week. Knowing that going in means that you'll really need to be on the ball when it comes to all your day job responsibilities, like deadlines, client meetings, stuff like that. So create a list of daily goals and label your tasks so there's a clear distinction between your side job and your nine to five. And hopefully, if you're good about managing both schedules, then you might just find time for a personal life too. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know. We'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click the like button or share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below.